What's up fam? I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Cameron and welcome back to my channel. Smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to stay up to date on the latest and greatest tech related content. Hey Siri, how not to miss any future iCameron videos? Just go ahead and click on the bell button to be notified. Enjoy. In this Photoshop 2020 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create those cool thumbnails that all the popular YouTubers use. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just look on the screen, the one with the glow that's like on the outside of people. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a quick little uh, trick on how to do it and you guys can obviously play around with it and make it better. Um, but this is just the simple version of it. So we're going to start a um, new file here. I use 1920 by 1080 pixels usually. You change it right here, 72 resolution. All right, so now upload the image that you want to use. So hit file at the top, place embedded, and then, you know, place the picture. All right, now I usually just make it a little bit bigger. And so when you are doing these cuts, it's always recommended to zoom in so you do get the best possible um, placement for it. So this little toolbar down here, you wanna click pin. Okay, now when you get the pin, go to layers or paths. Cool, okay. Now just start, um, if you wanna zoom in, hit command and the plus. And then you wanna scroll to where you are. Now just start making little points. You know, I think the face is the one that matters uh, most. It's always better to use more clicks on the head or the area that is not perfect. zoom back out okay now you got where you want it look to the right under paths hit this little circle it says load path as selection okay now that it's loaded as selection hit the layers button and then hit this add layer mask so go ahead and right click on this duplicate the layer okay and I'll just call it whatever and now with the duplicate you can delete the layer mask Okay, so now what you wanna do is right click anywhere on the picture and hit stroke. Okay, now you wanna change the size to probably a little bit smaller. And this is where you play around with it a little bit. You can either do it on the center um, where it's on the center of the line or you can do it on the outside. It just depends on which one you prefer. I kinda like the outside one, it just looks cooler. And then you can also change the opacity to make it like, you know, look like a shadow almost or something like that. Um, or you can just make it super dark. Here's where you change the color. Um, red, if you wanna be standing out, or you know, like a blue, or if you like that one, or sometimes we'll use like green as well. And so yeah, that's just a basic, um, you know, outline of what you can do. And you can also, you know, add different uh, backgrounds right here where it says it's a white background. You can change the color of that one, obviously, or put your own background in it. I was just trying to show you guys a very simple uh, way to make a thumbnail. Of course, save this, you know, and then use this as a um, thumbnail for a YouTube video. And, you know, thumbnails matter. They're really important to, um, you know, getting views on YouTube. So that's uh, something that you need to take into account. 